What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda if you're new here and my goal for today's video is just, just kind of show you my spring basics and the pieces that I go to on a consistent basis to build on top of my wardrobe. These are things that I'm consistently mixing and matching with new items that I add. So I'm just going to kind of go in and show you how these pieces work with each other and how I kind of build on top of them. If you're new here and you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe down below. It would help push my content out to more people and get it seen and um, support the hard work that I put in for you guys. So let's just dive right in. I think I'm gonna start with what I think is the most underrated item essential in your wardrobe, really for any season, and that's jewelry. If you have watched my videos, you know that I'm always wearing some cute gold jewelry. Um, I always am also adding to my jewelry pieces. I like to add different pieces for different occasions, but I think that jewelry can take any outfit up a notch. It makes everything look a little bit more put together. Whether you're wearing an athleisure outfit, like a hoodie and sweats matching outfit, if you pop on some little gold hoops, a couple rings, and maybe a necklace, it takes your outfit from basic casual to styled casual. So that is my number one essential. And if you haven't seen my jewelry video, I will link it above so that you can go check that out. That's just basically a video talking about my jewelry collection and where I get all my pieces. I did not include this necklace in that video because this is new. I got this from Zara. I really like this piece because it's like a brushed gold, which in my opinion kind of makes it look a little bit more expensive. Like for example, right now, I'm just wearing a white shirt and this oversized denim jacket, but I'm wearing my little gold hoops and this necklace, which takes it from just a basic outfit that anybody can put together, makes it look that much more stylish and put together. The next spring essential that I'm gonna show you uh, is a white or an off-white bag. And this can be any kind of white bag. I just feel like a white bag goes with anything during springtime. And it doesn't have to be this kind of bag. It could be a cute, structured white bag, which I love. I just didn't have one to show you guys. But I love a white bag because I feel like they go with everything and I like this one because it can be a clutch or you can wear it as a crossbody. I got this one from JLux Label. I think that you guys probably seen it in one of my JLux Label hauls. Disclaimer, my puppy is over here sleeping in the corner and he's a Frenchie and he snores and makes a lot of noises. So if you hear any weird noises, that's probably what it is. I apologize. <laughs> so one of my favorite spring essentials is just a matching suit set and it can be any matching suit set. It could be a fitted matching suit set. It could be a relaxed one. H&M, by the way, has some really great relaxed suit sets. The reason that I love these and why they're an essential in my spring wardrobe and why I think that they just should be an essential in anyone's spring wardrobe is because they're separates. So you can do so much with them. You could pair the blazer over a dress when it's a little chilly outside and you need to be a little bit more stylish and just wearing a hoodie or a jean jacket. So when you wear the set together, it's, it's just a really nice put together, simplistic but very stylish kind of an outfit and you can wear it to, sorry my friend she's making noises. Um, and you can wear it to like a daytime gathering or something like that, which I feel like happens a lot in the spring, whether you're with family, that's another thing. If you're gonna go see family and you're gonna be with family, this is something appropriate that you can feel comfortable and appropriate in around your family. The trousers you can use dressed up with just a nice white top. If you're going out to dinner or you're going to daytime event with your friends or you're going out for drinks, you're meeting somebody, you know, anything like that. The blazer can be worn together as the set or you can wear it over a dress and to give you that warmth that you sometimes need in spring. And I like this color because it is a creamy white. It's not a true white. It's definitely, it definitely has a little bit of a yellow undertone in it. And this one is from Pretty Little Thing. I'm not gonna lie, this 
set is not the most expensive quality. It's a little bit of a cheaper quality set, but it still looks really good and it looks expensive. Um, the only thing that I notice uh, that makes it look inexpensive is when you're closing the front of the blazer. It has, it has this sort of closure right there. And I notice that when you're clipping it together, it just doesn't sit flat when it's together. So I like to wear this open. Other than that, I love these. They come in so many different colors and they fit very well. Instead of a relaxed, casual fit, they're more of like a fitted and could be a little sexy type of fit. You know what I mean? Sticking with the blazer trend, I'm gonna show you this blazer that I have. Now, I love this color for spring. It's yellow. I mean, that's the best time to wear this kind of color. This is a Tommy Hilfiger blazer that I picked up from Marshalls. Don't sleep on Marshalls, because you can find some nice designer pieces that you wouldn't expect to find. Um, and I liked this because it has gold buttons. The sleeve has gold buttons, and I think that those details on this blazer make it look very expensive and high-end. Can you stop snoring? Please. He's, he's really, he literally snores. But um, I think that those details make this blazer look really expensive. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, you would have seen that I put an outfit together with this blazer, which is why you should be following me on Instagram, okay? Under that blazer, in that outfit, I was wearing this Zara white ribbed crop top. These white crop tops, it can be any crop top really, it doesn't even have to be a crop top, it could be just a white tank top or even a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt works just as well as these tank tops do. But um, I think that these white tank top, crop top, or t-shirts are essential for spring because a white top under this yellow blazer just looks clean and um, effortless but stylish. I So I paired that outfit with this white crop top and these pretty little thing mom jeans. So these are the mom jeans that I was wearing with that outfit and they have a ripped knee which gave, it took the style down from super serious and stuffy stylish to cool, relaxed, effortless stylish if that makes sense. Um, and I love these mom jeans for that. I think mom jeans are essential for spring because you can do so much with them. So I wore them with that blazer, but I also could have worn this with a white t-shirt and some sneakers. So another way that I would wear that blazer is with these mom shorts that I got from Zara. You saw the lighter version of these in my Zara jeans haul. I'll link it above in case you haven't seen it. This blazer would be super cute with these mom jean shorts and either some white tennis shoes or some mules. So you could make it super casual but still stylish if you're wearing it with some white sneakers and then dress it up a little bit if you wanted to wear some mules with it and still keeping with that white crop top. And that brings me to the next spring essentials which are white sneakers. White sneakers for spring, essential for me. These obviously go with everything. And I think that, you know, during spring when you're wearing a lot more pastels or bright colors, white sneakers just, or white, any, any type of white sneakers or white shoe just pair so well with spring colors and spring style. And then another essential, which I touched on earlier, are just some mules. You probably saw in the try-on that I showed you that outfit with sneakers and with mules. These are the ones uh, that I was wearing and these are from Miss Lola. And they're just sort of a cork with some gold detail, strappy mule. These went really well with my skin tone and so they kind of blended in with my skin tone, which I like. So it's almost like you can't really see the shoe, it's just sort of blending in, so it's not taking away from my outfit. And that's why I love these ones. It doesn't have to be this color, but mules for sure are such a go-to for spring because they're usually, the heel is pretty short and they're usually very easy to wear. And the last pair of essential shoes that I'm gonna show you guys are these Perspect Heel Mules. 
These are the ones from Zara that I'm sure that you've seen everywhere. A lot of people have these. They're very easy to wear. To me, they're very comfortable. Um, the heel height is not very high, and obviously they're perspex, so they go with any and everything. This is definitely an essential for me for spring. This is like a silky, ruched, cowl neck dress that I got from JLux label. The color obviously is spot on for spring. You can tell I like to wear yellows during spring. This dress can be, obviously when you're looking at it like this, it looks really dressy. And um, to me it looks fancy and maybe a little too sexy for a, day, a daytime look. But the way that I like to dress it down is by throwing a jean jacket over it. So next essential jean jacket. So I love to throw a jean jacket over a dress like this. I love the mixture of casual and dressy. The idea of throwing over a jean jacket over this dress and either even wearing this outfit with sneakers and then changing your heels for a nighttime look and taking off the jean jacket. So the next essential that I have for spring is a white button-up shirt or a white oversized shirt. And I'm just showing you this one. Now, I have a white button-up shirt from Zara, but it's being washed right now. So I'm showing you this one from Pretty Little Thing. It's It has a silky feel and it does not have any buttons, but it just, it has that V and closes in the front. I love to wear this with wide leg jean pants just because that sort of white crisp shirt with the wide leg jeans just looks so nice, especially for spring. You're still covering up, but you look just fresh and airy and stylish for spring. And you can do so many things with this. You could wear, I love to pair a white button up shirt over some biker shorts and throw on maybe a jean jacket. I'll insert some pictures of examples of what I mean. I love to pair that kind of white button up shirt with jeans like this. And these are a very light wash, wide leg uh, jean. And you would have seen these in my last Zara haul, this, the jeans Zara haul that I did. These look so stylish with just a white button up shirt tucked in the front only and then wearing some heels. This is such a perfect spring lunch, brunch, daytime kind of an outfit. It's a very smart, stylish kind of an outfit. Okay, the next spring essentials is a matching athleisure outfit. Matching athleisure outfits are so easy to wear and these are for the days when you don't want to get dressed up but you want to look put together and it's cold outside. Which there are a lot of those days in spring, let's let's be real. You guys saw this in my JLux label haul. This is a cream matching sweat outfit and the reason I chose this to show you guys as my essentials is because it is a zip-up hoodie, which I think is perfect for spring. Zip-up hoodies are essential for spring because sometimes a pullover hoodie can just be, it can just be a little bit too hot for a pullover hoodie, but a zip-up hoodie is so perfect for the spring weather. An athleisure outfit like this is essential for spring, whether it's a sweat suit athleisure outfit or a more of an athletic matching set like leggings and a top that would be perfect to wear with like a jean jacket over it, which is why the jean jacket is essential because you can throw it over your athleisure matching outfits and look put together. All right, you guys, that's it for this spring essentials haul. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it in the comments below so that I know what to keep making because obviously I know you guys love my Zara hauls and I love my Zara hauls too, um, but I have to have some videos in between there to kind of fill in because my wallet just so i'm gonna do things like you know 10 spring outfits and some stuff like that so leave me some feedback in the comments so that i know what you guys like seeing do you guys like these kind of styling um videos would you like to see more of just like a 10 outfits for spring kind of a video and I do have a couple Zara hauls coming up, so stay tuned for those, but I am waiting for a few more pieces, just FYI. I mean, it's coming, just trust me, okay? But yeah, just leave me some feedback in the comments on what you guys would enjoy, and thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching it all the way through if you did. Thank you so much, because that helps me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!